So then the next goal, oftentimes, um, is to regain that hip mobility and hip extension power that can sometimes be lost during pregnancy just because of the normal way that we compensate for pregnancy. So why does that help with hip um, extension power to regain internal rotation ra range of motion? Well, if we go throughout our full range of motion, then A, we are truly lengthening and contracting the muscle, and that's how muscles are trained to strengthen, a lengthen and then a shortening. So we need to go through that process to work the muscle and then strengthen it. So we need to fully go through internal rotation and external rotation, flexion, extension, abduction, adduction. And many times with a function like stepping up, we're doing all of those planes of motion at once. So truly regaining motion can help just with walking and um, discomfort with walking or transition movements as people are looking to go into single leg activities like running um, or even just rotating to be able to rotate to put their child down or up in a car without it really like pulling on their back because you have the rotation in your hips. So biggest pet peeve in life is that um, these women are coming in with a lack of hip internal rotation just due to the normal way that their body has um, trained them to have a baby. And then now we're wanting to get their glute strength back, but we're only doing toed out everything for glute strength, toed out squats, um, toed out deadlifts, all these things when really I think we should work on regaining hip internal range of motion then teaching your body what the new amount of range of motion is to work with, and then um, having your body react to that new range of motion or strengthen functionally in that new range of motion with some closed chain exercises, meaning how is that hip accepting your body's weight into internal rotation. So every time we lunge, every time we step, there's a little bit of internal rotation that has to happen at that hip. Um, a lot of times we see people with compensations of, oh wow, you're really lacking some hip extension with walking, with running. We check their hip extension on the table, or sorry, not hip extension, hip internal rotation. We check their hip internal rotation on the table and they have wonderful hip internal rotation, but their body isn't utilizing it because it's always compensated to shorten. So we need to teach our body in a um, comfortable, safe environment, like a clinic or a gym, to load that hip in, into internal rotation because then your body will be able to react and perform in that way um, outside of the clinic in everyday life. We're building resilient joints here.